Okay, you're here because you heard about Ukraine's secret AI weapon, the one Russia supposedly can't stop. Well, the truth is, the war has entered this really chilling new phase. We're talking smart tech, AI-powered, operating totally unseen, basically unjammable, a massive shift. It absolutely is, and that's what we're unpacking today. We've looked at documents showing this AI arms race just accelerating like crazy on the front lines in Ukraine. We're seeing everything uh, from processing battlefield data on a scale never seen before, right up to these fully autonomous, you know, fire and forget killer drones. We'll show you how AI is just completely changing strategy and maybe forcing some really tough ethical questions too. Yeah, and before we get into Ukraine's really ambitious attack systems. The ones literally run off a smartphone app, which is wild. We really need to talk about what the other side has already put out there. Russia's already deploying some pretty astonishing tech. It proves these old ways of stopping drones are becoming obsolete fast. You really need to hear about this Russian drone they intercepted. Unjammable, AI-driven, and something else. Stick with us. Okay, let's start there with that Russian threat. It's very real. Serhii Biskresnov, he's a consultant with the Ukrainian Defense Forces, he confirmed it. He basically warned that these Russian AI drones aren't just some, you know, future threat. They're here now. They're finding them on the ground. And Biskresnov himself found one, right? Intercepted a new type of Russian UAV. And the shocking part was it was AI-assisted. It could find a target, attack it all by itself, looked kind of thrown together apparently, but underneath, lethally smart. Yeah, and here's the really unbelievable technical bit. This thing, unlike most drones we track, it wasn't sending or receiving any signals while it was doing its thing. It flew its attack run purely on its own onboard brain power. Which means... Jamming is useless. Exactly. Completely useless. There's nothing to jam. You see, this fundamentally changes electronic warfare. It takes the fight away from radio waves and puts it right onto the drone itself, onto the edge computing. Decades of counter drone tech suddenly bypassed. Wow. So the main defense we think of jamming just doesn't work on these. That, uh -huh. Yeah, that changes everything overnight. Mm -hmm. And it explains the pressure Ukraine is under to develop its own AI systems, right? Mm -hmm. That pressure. Plus... Just the sheer amount of information flooding in. That's mm -hmm. why Ukrainian officials are saying AI is now uh, indispensable. Yeah. They were literally drowning in data. Oh, absolutely. Deputy Defense Minister Yuri Myronenko gave some staggering numbers. He said the military gets over 50,000 video streams from the front line every yeah. single month. Think about trying to watch all that. It's impossible for humans. AI, things like computer vision, rapid data analysis, mm -hmm. it's the only tool that can sift through that flood, uh, spot targets, classify them, map them out fast enough to be useful. And it's not just about finding targets to you know, blow up. It's about making smarter decisions faster. Mm -hmm. AI helps with the whole strategic picture, using resources better, getting through that whole decision cycle, observe, orient, decide, act way quicker than the enemy. That speed, that efficiency, that saves lives and resources. Right. And if you look at what Ukraine is already using, they've got AI software that helps drones lock onto a target. Then for the final approach, maybe the last few hundred meters, the drone flies itself autonomously. Ah, so like that Russian drone, it goes dark and unjammable for the most critical part of the attack run. Precisely. When it's closest, most vulnerable to being shot down or jammed, it's flying blind to the outside world, but seeing perfectly with its own AI makes it incredibly hard to stop. Okay, but that's still partial autonomy. The really scary future of war stuff is the next step, isn't it? Yaroslav Azyuk, he's the CEO of the Fourth Law, a Ukrainian developer. He spelled out the big goal. Mm -hmm. Completely autonomous weapons. And his point was kind of chilling. All a soldier might need to do is just push a button on a smartphone app. That's it. Yeah, he described the whole mission profile. The drone takes off, finds the target area, identifies the specific target using its AI, drops the payload, maybe even does a quick look to see the damage, and flies back. All of that with zero human piloting needed during the mission. Zero piloting. Zero. And Aznuk believes they could have thousands of systems like that ready by the end of 2026. The key thing for you, the listener, is the scale this enables. Minimal training, rapid deployment of potentially huge numbers of these things. But it's not all about attack drones, is it? They're also looking at AI for defense. Definitely. A big push is happening there, too. Think autonomous interceptor drones guided by computers. These could be a massive boost for air defenses against things like those Iranian Shahid drones Russia uses a lot. So AI drone hunters. Basically, yeah. And Aznuk argues an AI system could actually be better than a human pilot for that job. It might see the incoming drone sooner, react faster, maneuver more effectively. Deputy Minister Myronenko hinted they're really close on this, saying they've uh, 
partly implemented it in some devices already. And we've seen hints of this AI coordination working, right? That spiderweb operation last June, a hundred drones hitting Russian air bases simultaneously. That sounds like it needed some serious AI help to pull off. It almost certainly did. Probably AI tools for coordinating the swarm, maybe target selection. It shows what's possible when you use AI at scale. But here's the flip side, the worry in Kiev. What if Moscow copies that exact playbook? Uses AI swarms against Ukrainian cities, not just military sites, that's the fear. Which brings us straight to the really difficult part, the ethics. The risks. <laughs> exactly. Because as exciting as this tech is for engineers, the developers in Ukraine are actually very cautious about systems that are like completely on AI. The biggest reason, friendly fire. How so? I mean, can't the AI tell friend from foe? Well, that's the problem. Maybe not reliably enough yet. Fayim, he's from a company called DevDroid making AI tracking machine guns he laid it out. In the chaos of battle, especially close up, distinguishing between a Ukrainian and a Russian soldier, maybe wearing similar gear, covered in mud, is incredibly hard, even for AI. So what are they doing about it? Well, for DevDroid systems, the AI tracks the target, keeps the gun pointed right at it. But there is no auto-fire button enabled. Not yet. They need way more testing, more feedback from the field before they'd even think about letting the machine pull a trigger on its own. So a human is still making the final call? For now, yes. That's the critical line they seem hesitant to cross. AI assists the human, makes the shot easier, faster maybe, but doesn't take the final kill decision itself. Which leads to that massive question, doesn't it? If the machine can eventually perform better, react faster, be more accurate, should it ever get the final say over a human life? And what does this do to the rules of war? Huge questions. International law demands you distinguish combatants from civilians. How does an AI drone do that reliably in a messy urban fight? Or what about soldiers trying to surrender? Or wounded soldiers who are no longer a threat? How does the AI know? Myronenko, the deputy defense minister, was quite clear on this. He believes even if AI makes the tactical part easier, that final life and death judgment, it has to stay with a human. But the pace isn't slowing down. President Zelensky himself went to the UN and basically sounded the alarm. He called AI and weapons part of the most destructive arms race in human history. Yeah. Said we need global rules like we have for nuclear weapons. Urgent rules. And that really brings us back to the core challenge, the one dictating everything right now. How do you stop a swarm of these intelligent autonomous drones when jamming doesn't work, when they're too small or too numerous for missiles or jets? That's the multi-billion dollar question being answered tragically on the battlefields in Ukraine right now. It changes everything for global defense planning. You've been listening to J&J's Military Report, where we analyze the latest in military strategy, global defense, and advanced weaponry. We'll catch you next time.